I'm Dave Warren. Doesn't mean we have football weather coming in this weekend. We might try to dry things out just a bit. We're seeing the daily showers and storms develop now. Rain coming down right on time here, right along the coast. Initially, it'll gradually start to work its way in, triggering that the temperatures have pushed above 90 degrees. Heats things up. The air starts to go up. The showers form. The rain comes down, and we're expecting to see that uh, continue here over the next few hours. Uh, you see them developing to the south there around Homestead and Florida City, right along the coast here, pretty much from downtown Miami north into Broward County. They're right along the coast, but they'll gradually start to work their way inland. Bit of a west to southwest wind trying to pick up here. That'll keep the activity over the east coast here throughout the afternoon. It's not going to work its way through and push to the interior. There was the rain that we saw with that camera looking north. The camera right about there looks north right into that rain that is on its way to the interior here, gradually pushing inland. Now the temperatures have climbed up to 90. That's about where they will stay. The rain will cool things off here over the next few hours, but we're at 86 in Fort Lauderdale. Homestead's at 87. Miami's touched 91, and it's into the 90s there in the Keys, where we had storms earlier here. So uh, the rain showers, where are they headed? 1 o'clock will start you right what we're seeing now. Those showers developing and really picking up here over the next few hours. They do try to work their way to the interior, but they continue to be pushed up right against the east coast here. So these are some downpours. The ground's pretty wet. Might see some minor flooding as these gradually build up and slowly start to push inland here. They do try to push inland by the afternoon, but as they develop, they work their way back across the area. So we'll keep them in the forecast throughout the afternoon drive. Five, six o'clock, still some downpours coming down. They may try to lift north into Broward County, but after about six to seven o'clock, that's when we start to see things uh, winding down, tapering off a few lingering showers early this evening. That's well, pretty quiet overnight. Then the showers develop just along the keys here overnight. Now tomorrow uh, we do get some drier air beginning to push in, so we do have spotty showers in the forecast, but they're not as widespread as today. Again, typically timing two o'clock. They'll start to the south and one or two try to push to the area. So better chance to see a drier day tomorrow. And maybe that trend continues for the start of the weekend as opposed to what we've been seeing and are seeing now here over the next few hours. We'll start the day tomorrow with maybe a few stray showers. Temperatures are into the upper 70s. Then they jump into the 80s there with the sunshine. Start to see the clouds developing. A few rain showers coming down. They're spotty. We'll keep them about 30% as opposed to today's 70% here. So isolated storms mid afternoon, tapering off 7 to 9 o'clock night. By tomorrow evening, we are down to 80 degrees. Now we have to tropics to watch a potential tropical storm here classifying it as a potential system because it's not tropical yet, but once it's classified as a potential system, warnings can go in effect. They do issue these when they're near the coastline because as it moves north, it could become tropical storm Ophelia, but by that time it's pretty close to the Carolina coast here. So we're already seeing warnings come in here for tropical storm conditions. Winds will increase about Saturday morning near the Carolina coast, maybe the Outer Banks, even down towards Wilmington, moving north into Virginia, down towards D.C., Philadelphia, Philadelphia turning east through New Jersey, maybe around New York by Sunday morning. So it does rapidly move to the north Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. There it uh, begins to push off the coast. Now we do have tropical storm warnings in effect, and this goes from Ocean City, Maryland, all the way down through Cape Hatteras, down to the Cape Fear River in Wilmington, North Carolina. There is the system. If it does detach from that front, it takes on tropical characteristics, but our weather, it brings in some slightly drier air. Uh, this will continue Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So fewer showers and storms. They're still in the forecast. You still could get a downpour, but we get a little more sunshine, slightly drier air here coming in for the weekend. Atlantic coastal waters will watch that wind might push some swells down the coast for right now. There's no alerts, but it might see the waves increase just a bit. Uh, there over the weekend uh, for right now, at least Thursday to Friday, things are pretty good there in the Atlantic waters and in the Keys smooth in those near shore waters. Winds out of the east to southeast there about five to ten knots with seas one foot. The Hurricane Nigel moving up to the North Atlantic and the next area we will watch is right here. Uh, an area of low pressure may continue to develop in this area. This is not a track. Instead, it's the area where it may develop a high potential for that. That is moving west across the Atlantic here over the next three to seven days. 
We'll talk about what's happening this weekend. First of all, here on Saturday, it's the start of fall. It actually begins 249 in the morning. Sun is directly over the equator. The sun continues to get lower and lower in the sky, but oh, pretty much equal daylight and nighttime hours there, 12 hours, uh, give or take a minute or two. Sunday, we have the game here. Now in the afternoon, there will be a few showers around, but rain chances are down 30 to 40 percent from 10 to noon. Temperatures are climbing into the upper 80s, maybe trying to touch 90. We're back to 90 Monday and Tuesday. Rain showers increasing just a bit to start next week. We'll put them right back up to 60 percent.